love story in a lot of different ways. And then it's the story of this kid named Arthur from Manchester, who I think maybe we can all identify with the most in the film. So, well, he's sort of the narrator, in a way. I mean, got kicked out of his own house because of his sort of, his glam attraction and everything that went with that. You know, and it's the only period of his life that he can look back on and really sort of see as a happy moment. <laughs> So many different things, you know, it's a really multi-layered film. And a, a lot of people, when they read the script, they just didn't get it, you know, they were just, Ooh, what's that about? Um, when I first read it, I loved it, thought it was brilliant, but it was, I sort of likened it to uh, a pop song that you really love. You can't quite explain what it's about, you know, and you keep, the more you listen to it, you hear new lyrics, you know, maybe you can't quite hear what the singer's saying, but you like the sound of his voice. Um, and you learn new things about it the more that you go back and, you know, delve into it. Isn't it here then? Let's have a look. Bloody Nora. I could one of them pansy rockers. Fucking hell. It's fucking puff that one there. It's not. That's naff. That's naff. <laughs> Disgusting. You know that. 